Hey, welcome back to another news video. I'm on screen mode because I broke my controller. I explain why in this video, check it out. But in other news, we have some rec room news to cover. So if you guys haven't been living under a rock recently, you guys might have noticed that inside the rec center, a few things are gone. We've lost Creative Academy, RR behind the scenes, and the Creative Campus. We still have the bucket, so uh, I, I mean, we, we, we didn't lose much. Anywho, it seems like there's actually a reason as to why they had done this, but it seems like it can't be shared at the moment. So pretty interesting, honestly. Um, Featured creator isn't loading for me right now, but we did get a new featured creator. I, I guess I'll just put an image on the screen. And we received a new announcement about UGC items. Inside this announcement, it says new creator made avatar items. We launched Avatar Studio about a month ago, and now we're excited to announce the first wave of community design creations. Featuring items from some of your favorite creators, which are Combi, Thyme, and Peanut. You can read more about it at that link and buy these new items in the new featured creator carousel in the watch store, which I covered in my last video. If you guys decide to go to this link, it basically just tells you the same announcement all over again. And they tell you a little bit more information about the featured creations carousel, saying you may have noticed our new featured creation carousels in the watch storefront. Here you'll find all the latest avatar items from our early access avatar studio creators. We've already released several new Halloween themed items from these creators that are showcased in our featured Halloween creation carousel and will release their other creations in the featured creations carousel. Keep in mind that these items are part of a rotating selection and we will be updating and rotating new creations regularly as we approve more designs from our early access creators. We're so excited to see and share more creative content from the community and whether you're looking to express yourself with a new avatar item or hoping to become a featured creator, there's something exciting on the horizon for everyone with Avatar Studio. Aw, thank you Rec Room, that makes me so buttery inside. Now when it comes to talking about UGC items, some people have already revealed new UGC creations. People have went on the Sawhorse Interactive account and have seen them wearing their actual unreleased UGC items. We got to see this pumpkin head with this sort of pumpkin shirt item. It looks kind of weird, but of course, let me know your guys' thoughts. Pina, an actual UGC creator who makes UGC items, had actually revealed some animal sets on their Instagram. What do you guys think? Be sure to let me know. It seems like it's all UGC items that are going to be coming soon, and I love how they've been revealing some new UGC items that they've been working on. It's great. If you had any sort of request for UGC creators, what would you actually want them to make inside of Rec Room? I also forgot to mention that they got rid of the Friendotron too. There's no Friendotron inside the Rec Center now. And to top that off, there's even a new loading screen which you guys will see whenever loading into the Rec Center now as well, so what are your thoughts on that? And just for a little honorable mention inside the video, this isn't news, but I saw some pretty cool concepts. It comes from this person named Sealed Racia. <laughs> it comes from this person named Sild Racia. They seem to be making concepts for Rec Room and stuff, and they have some pretty cool ones. They have one of this sort of back item, which I don't know what this actually is, but it's pretty cool. Then they also have one of like this actual shirt and stuff, and they also have some full body avatar sleeves. In the concept art, you guys can see that they're pretty descriptive with everything. They even talk about the material of some of the items, which I think is awesome. Check them out, they'll be linked down inside the description below, and of course, you know, you should always be checking my descriptions. It's pretty important you see the stuff in there. Now for this next part inside today's video, it's basically going to be like a dev Q&A. Essentially, people from the Rec Room Discord community ask Rec Room developers about questions that they have about the game or talk about bugs that they have, and sometimes they tease new features or new fixes that they have coming pretty soon. That's kind of why this is important, so uh, listen in. We had received an update from Max Powers, a Rec Room developer, talking about an update for the group of players on Quest who don't have the Use Classic Bean option. TLDR, they basically can't switch into the Classic Bean. Yes, that's right, some people are stuck as a 2.0 no bean, it's scary. The plan is is that you'll get that back as an option as soon as the Rec Room team gets enough data from this weekend. They'll provide another update this Tuesday on what they've learned, and one thing we have learned is that we need to put a reasonable cooldown on the option. We've seen folks spam the switch which causes some memory issues and crashes. We also received an update about the weekly rotation image stuff from the folks that actually control all that weekly rotation image stuff. Jay had said, so the folks who usually work on the image have been really busy, as he thought, but they're also working on a new design for the images to accommodate more items like RR Plus items, the pop-up shop items, and general storefront stuff. We don't have an ETA on when this new design will be ready, so expect no new images until then. That said, I believe we're hoping to have a preview of the design to share soon, but there's no promises on if I'll be allowed to share the preview or not. When asked if he can at least get an image of the pop-up shops in weekly rotation and said until the design is done, Jay said that he'll think about it throughout the week and he also needs to ask someone to be sure if it's okay. 
Werewolf, a Requiem YouTuber, had also asked another question if the Requiem developers were planning on getting rid of the star system for items soon. So like 1 star, 2 star, 3 star, 4 star, etc. Jay says, I think Zizzy said that for RO items, no, but for UGC items, something else will take its place. And at the moment, that's pretty much everything with the whole dead Q&A stuff. Though there are a few bugs inside of Rec Room that are pretty annoying. Some people have noticed that some of the contest items haven't been fixed for full body avatars yet, which is kind of annoying. To top that off, people are also noticing seeing that there's this weird reset character bug. There's this video where this guy explains it and I'll let that play. This bug that keeps happening um, resets my face and my hat positions on my Requiem avatar. This avatar is just one that I'm wearing because I already got my face fixed from loading and saving another outfit. But if I go into my base outfit, my hat is up here. And on occasion, if I uh, look around, it'll just reset back to being default like it does on the full body cost on the uh, Holotar projectors. Now, I haven't opened my menu at all, and as you can see, my hat is already reset to how it should not be. If I then switch to another avatar and then back, it'll be normal. But the second I uh, look at the costume, uh, the holotype projectors, and I look back, my hat is reset again. Most of the time, I don't even need to reset my. I don't even have to look that way sometimes. Sometimes it'll just reset from lag or some other kind of factor inside of Rec Room. However, I found it's easiest to do whenever those go into my VR view on my computer. But again, sometimes it just doesn't happen and it's, it's very random and I'm not a fan. So hopefully in the next couple of updates or something, this bug can be fixed. Um, this also seems to affect face uh, options whenever you load into rooms for instance if you have my outfit sometimes your eyebrows will be set to these your eyes will be set to the default and so will your mouth be set to the default even though that on your avatar itself you have it set to different options for instance i have these um rec room will sometimes just reset it back to the default in face uh options anyways that is all that i wanted to discuss hopefully again if anyone sees this in the discord this can get fixed within the next couple of updates i don't know about when that could happen especially because this is a bug fix that needs to go out on all platforms first this could take anywhere from two to four weeks and hopefully it can be done sooner rather than later. Hey, did you know that I have channel memberships? That is right, they give me money every month and I give them perks every month, like being shouted out in videos or getting sneak peeks to videos. I've seen some more squidlings have joined and stuff like that. I see you, Harvey, I see you, Refux. Thank you for joining the membership. And for Calamari and above, we have Hydro Jack Tutorial, Reed, Not the Pup, The Dragon Boy, Gasty, Garlic Bread, It's Freddy RR, Dozer Blade Cat, BBB Burning Owl, Raphael Cloud, of the 69 and of course, Box David. That's it, thank you guys. Appreciate it a lot. Now, we should probably get back to the to the video. And yeah, that was pretty much all the news that we had today for this Rec Room video. Be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts on this Rec Room news video down in the comments below. And of course, you better be using my code. I haven't even asked you to use my code this entire video, but it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. If you want more Rec Room news, you guys should see some more videos on that side of the screen and stuff like that. Like, subscribe, do all that crazy stuff. And of course, I'll catch you guys until the next one. B bye.